morning dear friends it is so wonderful that god has given us another new week to live and glorify him and it is so good that we can be together for a few minutes at the feet of jesus listening to him and let us receive his word with humility and with a real desire to grow in him today's meditation is centered around a passage in the book of revelation chapter 1 verses 4 to 8 Let me read it for you. The word of the Lord in this passage says, John to the seven churches in the province of Asia. Grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead. and the ruler of the kings of the earth to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his god and father to him be glory and power forever and ever amen look he is coming with the clouds and all the peoples of the earth will mourn because of him so shall it be amen i am the alpha and the omega says the lord god who is and who was and who is to come the almighty may the lord the holy spirit add his blessing upon the reading of god's word and make it a real blessing to all of us now this is a great announcement from heaven this announcement was given to the seven churches in asia this announcement is fourfold number 1 grace and peace are yours number 2 jesus christ is the great savior number 3 look christ is coming and number 4 Christ is the almighty God. Now let us consider these blessings. And for our uh, morning meditation, we shall look only into the first announcement saying grace and peace are yours. Grace and peace they are yours. Grace means the favor and blessings of God which we do not deserve. and it means that god takes an active part in our lives god is actively involved in my life and in your life that he takes care and look after us he provides that is one aspect of looking after us all our needs he is able to meet and fulfill all our needs according to his riches that is what apostle paul says in philippians physical material and spiritual blessing we do not deserve uh, god's favor but he loves us and therefore he shower upon us his blessing then we have peace along with it these two are twin blessings that always accompany each other and the peace means that we can have a peace with god and peace with man god is far away and uh, unapproachable and unknowable and i think many people's idea of god is this he is too far away and this peace mean men no longer have to feel that he is too far away from us and that he is unapproachable and he is unknowable and let us give up these ideas about god because god has come near us in the person of the lord jesus christ nor is he hovering over us watching every step we 
take every move we make in order to condemn us that is another idea that many people have about this god no our god in heaven the 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 god of 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 the bible jehovah god is the creator god who created all of us in his love and faithfulness and he created us for himself and he loves us so very much and thus he is seeking only one thing rather than condemnation he is seeking peace with man now peace also means men no longer had to be divided and separated nor do they have to be fighting and destroying each other men now can have peace with god and peace with each other and this is the great blessings and favor of the lord now it is important therefore for us to have a correct understanding of who our god even the god of the bible is it is he who loved us so much that he gave his one and only begotten son jesus christ that whoever believes in him let him be anyone from any religion from any background very from any wicked and sinful life anyone who turns to him in humility and in repentance you will find a favor and love now therefore you and i can have a peace let no one think that you are so big a sinner that even god cannot forgive that is not true his grace is greater than our sin his grace is beyond the highest star and his grace and love has no measure it is beyond measure or measureless also notice here peace and grace is to be found where it is not uh, found among men it is not found upon the earth this twin blessings peace and grace come only from heaven it comes only from god the father and through god the son and minister to us through the holy spirit so you will notice here the entire trinity is involved in loving us bringing peace between us and god and enabling uh, us to have peace with other fellow being what a wonderful grace and uh, peace come from this holy triune god the world doesn't see it it is looking for peace apart from god apart from god the father apart from god the son apart from god the holy spirit these three makes one godhead there is only one god but there are three persons included in this one godhead and all three are involved in our salvation and in our lives and in guiding us and leading us and the world has been searching and looking for peace and as i said this grace and peace cannot be found in or upon the earth they come only from god in heaven and so no matter how much you look you will never find it among men and upon the earth and you try to seek peace apart from god the father apart from god the son jesus christ to whom he sent to be our savior and mediator between god and men and apart from the holy spirit without whom we will never understand it is the ministry of the holy spirit to make jesus very precious to us and jesus takes us to god the father and the entire holy trinity thus involved in our lives 
and in our salvation. And so, please understand this. Apart from Jesus and Holy Spirit, there can be no peace. Note how God is described here in this passage. God who is, and God who was, and God who is to come. God is eternal. God is unchangeable. And God is infinite. And the only living true God. He is today and he was as he was yesterday. And he will be tomorrow what he is today. And thus he shall be the same in the ages to come. He is an unchangeable God. This means the most wonderful things for us. God has infinite power and knowledge. This God knows we need his grace. And this God knows we need his care. This God knows that we need his provision and his protection and his peace. He knows it all before we even come to know. My friends, He knows every need you have even before you ever face another need. Even the need you will face tomorrow or the day after and in the future, He has already seen them all. And He has made all the provision for that need to be met. If we only live daily, in communion and fellowship with him by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will lack nothing in this life. Remember also, notice how what he says, our need, not everything we want. We may want many, many things. We may want uh, even things that we don't need. But he knows your need and uh, not a single need be unmet. And, and the Lord is so caring. And my friends, and sometimes we may pray for a particular need, but he also knows the time to meet your need. God also knows his time. And his timing is always the best timing. And remember that. And therefore, he has the power to give us care upon care. Provision upon provision, protection upon protection, and peace upon peace, and grace upon grace. And in this connection, I would like to read Ephesians chapter 2, verse, verse 4 to 7. Notice what it says. It says here, but because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions it is by grace you have been saved and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in uh, in, 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 in Christ Jesus if, if you read the first verse of this chapter it says as for you you were dead in your transgressions and sins. My friends, this was our condition before we were saved by the grace of God. We were actually dead in our sins and in our transgressions, like Adam and Eve. This is the meaning when God told Adam and Eve, you shall not eat the fruit of this particular tree. The day you eat, you shall die. That is dying in our sin and transgressions. Thus, thus physical death also crept into humanity because of that sin. And my friends, look at here how much the riches of His mercy and His grace. First of all, He raised us up from our deadness, from our dead condition in sins and trespasses. And then He raised us up from the atmosphere of sin. And then He has seated us with Christ in heavenly realm. This is our spiritual realm and we need to live daily in this realm, believing 
that our spiritual realm is, is, is heaven. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ. And when your problems and trials and, uh, and, uh, and uh, difficulties uh, come, uh, tragedies happen in our lives, always remember, it doesn't matter. It all came to pass. Because we look upon these things sitting, sitting in heavenly places. What will you do? Sitting in heavenly realm, you are looking down on these tragedies and difficulties. And when sitting up there, looking down, they are almost invisible, my friends. And the peace of God will then come crowding into your heart and in your soul. And uh, that is what it says. And remember then, therefore, uh, God is eternal. God is unchangeable. And God is infinite. The only living and true God. And uh, remember, he is unchanging always. And these are wonderful things for us to consider. And this God knows our need. And uh, he has the power uh, to give us and meet every need. Uh, grace upon grace, care upon care. Also notice one thing, grace and peace also come from the Holy Spirit of God. What does all this mean? There is one more thing that mentioned in this passage. The seven spirits of God. The number seven in Bible, in Bible uh, is, is, a, is, a, uh, is a picture of uh, perfection and completeness. That means all these things I told you about God, the, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. All these wonderful things. They are in Him in all its perfection and completeness. So remember, we are also will be made perfect and complete in Him, in Jesus Christ. So apart from Jesus, apart from the Holy Spirit, we have no life. But with Him, we have abundant life and uh, great life. And... Uh, um, so it means the believer is to find grace and peace in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. The Holy Spirit lives in the believer in order to fill the believers with grace and peace. Do you believe you are saved and Jesus Christ is alive in you and that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit in which the Holy Spirit lives. Why is he there? He is there to continue to give you grace and peace. They are yours in Christ Jesus. What a wonderful God we serve. We don't understand. And my friends, once again, let me emphasize, we don't deserve any of this favor. But God, who is love, loves us. Therefore, he has brought us under his favor. Be thankful to God. Today is a great day. And with this understanding, you walk with God by the Holy Spirit and talk to him and listen to him. As you read the word of God, you are listening to him. And walk in obedience, you will enjoy the riches of his mercy and his grace. And you will know how rich you are in Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters who have listened to this message, this meditation, and together we have meditated what it meant to have the peace and grace of God. And may we be enriched by your grace. And may your peace fill our hearts and our minds. And let us therefore be rich in your grace and in your love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Remember, this is going to be a great day. Enjoy this day. Have a great day. Amen.